know who I am. Anything you say, anything you say. It's official. What's up YouTube? Uh, go over a couple of things and then we'll uh, get on to our uh, B movie reviews. Uh, first thing first, uh, wasn't really a whole lot in the news going on except for the same old, you know, stuff. You know, I guess uh, you know Marvel thinks that. Uh, or Kevin Feige, the fucking retard. He thinks that uh, uh, they're gonna replace Mar uh, Miss Marvel, that SJW new character of Miss Marvel, with freaking uh, uh, Spider-Man, or replace Spider-Man. Like it even comes close. I mean, they could have chosen somebody else to be the head of Marvel, but they chose. A, a, a character nobody really knows you know, or cares about so uh, we'll see how that works out for them. Um, and then uh, you know there's rumors saying that they're gonna make an all-female Avengers movie that's gonna flop bad they they already know this why would they do it it's retarded uh, same thing with the uh, Apparently, they're going to change a lot of the background and origin stories of some of the characters. Uh, and they, they're already doing that to the female Thor, which is retarded. The fucking Nally Port, whatever. It's just dumb. It's dumb. Uh, you know, apparently, they're going to change the origins of She Hulk, you know, which is dumb because. She, because she was saved by a white man, which was the Hulk. That's literally the way it works. She became She-Hulk because she had a blood transfusion with the Hulk. Otherwise, you can't have a She-Hulk. It don't work that way. But whatever, it's just dumb. She got saved by a man, God forbid. This dumb feminist says, "Yeah, I hate feminist SJW crap. Marvel's gonna crash and burn." Um, I just got done watching uh, that uh, X Men Dark Phoenix. Uh, I didn't think it was, you know, horribly. You know, really horrible or anything. It just there was a lot of feminist SJW crap in it. So, which literally kills the movie. You can't enjoy the movie. Uh, I don't like the new cast they have as the X Men. Anyway, uh, they're not. The X Men. I prefer the original cast. Uh, so I real I've never really liked the new young X Men group. It just they didn't follow any of the true origins. Or any of that. It, it was just it was going to bomb anyway. So yeah, not really all that great of a movie, honestly. The story was very bland. Uh, anyway, that's, that's all I have for you on that today. Uh, let's move on to, uh, your video reaction and get it done. Uh, basically this video reaction is to, uh, you know, dumb people 
uh, answering, you know, simple questions and they're dumb answers. So let's get get with it and keep it, let's keep it real. Get on there. Here we go. What are Jesus' parents' names? Uh, Mary and Joseph. Very good. And approximately how many years ago did he live? Oh, gosh. 250 million years ago. 250 million years ago. What animal is yes. uh, that? He was that old. Tiger. Tiger. Okay. A rhino. Right. Kangaroo. Yeah, because that looks like a kangaroo. That, Long neck. A koala bear looks Zip. like a kangaroo. I know, I know what it is, but I can't think of it right now. Mm -hmm. He's getting you don't even know what a damn giraffe is? What is it? A gay lord? A gay lord? Gay lord? A gay lord? A gay lord? A gay lord? Uh, the right to a... I'm not even going to say it. I'm going to look stupid. The right to a fair, fair and speedy trial? You must have been in, in court recently. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> have experience with that one. You name a country that borders the United States. A country? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, what what college really? did you go to? I go to Saddleback. Saddleback College. Okay. Are you stupid? Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. What is the number one reason oh, why she admits it? Presidents? She's a woman. Okay. Yeah, and that, that's literally all. <laughs> what animal is the king of the jungle? And you're an idiot. It's said to be the lion. It's said to be, or what do you think? Well, it's said to be the lion. You don't think it is? Mm, I've got questions about it. Yeah, who would you make this one? Who would you think? An eagle. The eagle? Well, lions are pretty tough, aren't they? Not really, not if they're attacked by a group of eagles. Not by attacked by a group of eagles. That's right. So have you ever seen a group of eagles attack a lion? How many U.S. senators are there? <laughs> too many. Too uh, many. Wait, there's like 52, isn't there? 52. Why do we have 52? Because there's 52 states. Because there's 52 states. How many senators <laughs> are there? One. One. There's just one senator. One. Twelve? No. Twelve? No, no, it's a hundred. A hundred. Okay. Oh, my God. Of course. Can you name a country Dude. that borders the United States? Um, Europe. I thought this was supposed to be fun. <laughs> what the? What year did World War II end? 1953. 1945. 1960, I don't know, 73. 19, I don't know, 70s. I think 1946. Wow. 1953. 19, you should know this. 50s. Every American 19, should know this. 38. What is the religion of Muslims? Judaism? No, oh, that I do not know. Is it uh, Muslim of religion? The Arabic? The, the Quran? Muslimism? Uh, it's Islam. Correct. How many oceans do we have on Earth? Ocean? Yeah, how many oceans? Uh, two. Seven. One. What the? One. Can you name them? No. What? Arctic Ocean. And. Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> what is the biggest state in the United States? Boy, he looks like a fucking real smart person, did he? Okay, Texas or California? Texas. Um, Alaska. What's the largest animal on Earth? Elephant. Um, the elephant. Elephant. It's whales, bro. If you're running in a race um, and you pass the person in second place, what place are you in? I know I've first. seen this asked quite a bit. First, and just first. about everybody says first. first. So you're winning a race. But they're wrong. Right. You pass out the guy in second place. What place are you in? Pass up the guy in second place? First place. First? First? Is that your final answer? Oh my gosh. Yeah. So if I'm running, a lot of dumb people. I pass the second person. I would be in second. Yes. Let me Very good. Among the stars. What is our galaxy called? Galaxy uh, 5... Uh, galaxy 500. No, that's a... Really, dude? Okay. Are you guys are graduating high school this week? No, it's June 16th. June 16th, so you should know a lot of stuff. <laughs> well, we know a lot. What is our galaxy called? Yeah, I bet you do. They always think they know a lot. 
at that age. I am. Um, it's also a candy bar. Mars. What the fuck? Oh, that's the end of that, Mars. It's the Milky Way. Yep, there's definitely some dumb people in America. I'm telling you what. Uh, if they can't answer, and that's a, a, a huge problem. Is, you know, most of these teachers nowadays, they're in the schools, especially the professors, teaching. Our, our, our young people, they are very liberal, very far left, and they don't teach the correct history. Uh, they try to ignore it, so they won't teach the history, so our people grow up not knowing their history. Uh, anyways, uh, that's that. That's your video reaction to dumb people answering questions. Uh, let's get on to your uh, B-movie reviews. All right, movieholics, let's get on to your B-movie reviews. Um, we've swung back around and it's time to do uh, a set of horror flicks again for this week. Uh, I chose three horror flicks that most people probably don't even know about. Uh, back in the 80s, after the success of Gremlins, there was uh, quite a few uh, movies that came out that were based upon like tiny monsters or little monsters. Uh, of course, I didn't do the obvious two, which was Gremlins and Critters. Uh, I tried to find some that were a little... Uh, much well less known. Uh, the first one is called Munchies. It was done in 1987. It starred Harvey Corman and, and Nadine, Van, Nadine Van Der Vell. Um, it also had Robert Picardo in there which was kind of surprising. You might know him from uh, Star Trek Voyager as the uh, hologram doctor. Uh, he ran around, he was some ice cream store owner, and they, uh, his whole family wore these stupid ice cream cones on top of their heads. It was kind of cheesy. Uh, but, uh, the movie, it starts off with a professor and his son. They're like an, at an archaeological dig where they think they found a little creature that's an alien. They bag him, take him home. Uh, the professor asks his son not to let him out of the sight. Uh, the uncle lives next door. He's been listening in. He knows something going on. So he go him and he, he grabs his stepson, which is dumber than a box of rocks. Uh, basically, he's a piehead, a, a typical stereotypical stoner. Uh, he takes him with him over there to steal this little alien, while the professor's son and his girlfriend are having sex. Uh, so they bag the uh, the little alien, and then. Uh, the uncle's got to go get his wife from the airport or some crap like that. He tells the stepson to watch the little alien because he's going to try to talk to someone about making some money off of it. So he leaves the stepson along with the alien and him and the stepson. The alien and him, the stepson getting a kind of a fight. Uh, the, the stepson chops him up into a few pieces uh, and lo and behold makes four of them. Uh, it regenerates into four different little aliens. Uh, so now apparently, it's sort of kind of like uh, the takeoff of Gremlins, these creatures cannot be killed. 
uh, they regenerate and if you chop them up you make more of them. Uh, uh, the, the professor's son you know figures out something's happened to the little creature which they were calling Arnold and can somehow speak English uh, uh, right away and learns how to watch TV and uh, but none of the nothing on TV there's nothing on TV literally but his uncle's commercials that he made himself which is stupid but uh anyways they uh, uh, they go after the little monsters and they take off in a car and they chase them around all over town while they're causing havoc you got a really dumb deputy, I mean dumb, dumb deputy. They make him look really stupid and retarded. And his dad's not, who's the sheriff, isn't all that great either. He's pretty dumb too. Uh, now, uh, the uncle and his wife uh, grab hold of the sheriff and they're trying to chase down the little monsters as well, uh, but for a different reason. The uh, the uncle has been storing toxic waste underneath the town in barrels, but he's also been taking the, this toxic waste. He thinks he's come up with some type of chemical that dilutes the toxins in the toxic waste. And then he puts it in the food and then he resells it in these these other pro food products. Uh, <laughs> so, anyways, uh, they figure out that all they have to do is electrocute these little monsters and they'll turn them into stone statues which they can just break apart. Uh, they do this they they get all the monsters the, the 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 uncle gets arrested and at the end uh they give a statue to the university guy and he decides to pay him like twenty five thousand dollars for the statue that's basically the end of the movie you know who i am anything, uh, anything obviously anything. you know the, the whole regenerating stuff came from the gremlins uh, you know multiplying or whatever came from gremlins uh, the acting wasn't really bad uh, you had some decent actors in there it wasn't really bad uh, as far as acting wise goes you could definitely deal with it you know it's watchable uh, the creatures, however, you can definitely tell they were just little puppets. Uh, they were kind of cheesy looking. Uh, and then being able to talk and learn English like right off the bat was a little dumb too. Uh, they kind of made them like they were some type of like goon squad, you know. It was it was really cheesy. But it's watchable uh, if you like that kind. If you like Grimmins. And critters the most obvious choices you might like this one I'm not sure uh, it's pretty cheesy uh, the next one we're going to talk about is called one I've never heard of I just ran across it I thought I'd go ahead and check it out it's called attack of the beast creatures it was done in 1985 and it starred Robert Nolfi and Julia Rust which I have no clue who they are. Uh, they were like one-timer actors or something. Uh, this is a really low-budgeted movie. Basically, it's about a group of survivors from a shipwreck that land on an island. Uh, and while they're trying to explore the island and survive, uh, these little pygmy guys are running around killing them. Uh, and, and they're cannibalistic, so they're literally eating them to death. They pick them clean to the bone. Uh, there's one scene in the movie where 
they're talking around like this campfire or whatever and they just drag that out for like 20 to 30 minutes like a filler for the movie or something they talk about nothing ridiculous I literally practically fell asleep uh, trying to watch the movie at that point uh, until something started to happen you know the little creature started attacking uh, but otherwise the little creatures are actually very creepy. They're creepy looking and they sound creepy and the way they move is really creepy. Uh, so whoever you know came up with that idea for them creep uh, you know did a good job. They they were creepy. Uh, surprisingly the acting is not really that bad. I was kind of shocked. Because you could definitely tell this is super low budget. But it wasn't really, the acting wasn't bad. It, you know, it, it was watchable. Uh, except for that one scene that nearly will put you to sleep. The movie was alright. It wasn't horrible, horrible. I mean, yeah, it's got, you know, the little cheesy doll-like figures, you know, when they're attacking them. But other than that, it was actually not a bad movie. Uh, but towards the end, you know, you have this uh, lifeboat that shows up when they uh, are just happens to show up as they're running to the beach and picks him up and saves him. And then, you know, one guy, he looked dumber and shit, the sailor asked him. There were two sailors in the lifeboat and he says, uh, you know, what are those things? And that's the end of the movie. It was just, it was dumb. That ending was dumb. But uh, otherwise, over and all, the movie wasn't too horribly bad. It's watchable. Uh, next, we're going to talk about a movie I've heard of, but I never have ever got around to watching it. Just because I've heard so many bad things about it. Uh, but there's a movie called Hobgoblins that was done in 1988. Uh, it starred Tom Bartlett and Paige Sullivan. Now just like uh, uh, Munchies, Munchies spawned a couple of sequels but it really had nothing to do with the Munchies movie. It was something called Munchie and it was about uh, some little doll-like creature or whatever. It's some kid movies. Uh, Hobgoblins also spawned a sequel. However, I heard the sequel is even ten times worse than this one. Uh, the acting in this was over the top. The over the top acting. It was the acting was bad. It was really seriously bad. But just enough to where you could it was just enough acting to where you could watch it. But at the same time you're going, oh my god, this is so awful. Uh, Basically, I don't know if this is the place that uh, uh, they're guarding at the beginning of the movie, uh, this old man, this kid, I don't know if it's like uh, like a bank, a museum, or uh, it never really explains, like a prison or something, I don't know. Anyways, there's this room uh, with a big uh, bank vault in it. Uh, and the old man keeps telling the, the new guard, don't go down there, but they go down there anyway and they open it up and they let the, the, the new security guard, he lets the uh, hobgoblins out of the bank vault, which he's been, had, had trapped in there uh, for some odd reason. Anyways, the hobgoblins get out and they have this kind of like a wish master type thing they bring your uh, dreams or desires uh, illusion uh, make you think it's real and then they kill you uh, and they go around town causing all kinds of problems for everyone uh, the security guard and his friends they're chasing them around trying to stop them uh, eventually they get them all back into the vault and the old man who's been watching them all this time he blows them up 
blows up the bowl. And that's the end of the movie. Uh, <laughs> so it, it really wasn't that great of a movie. It was pretty bad. And the, the, there's just scenes in there, what they're doing with the little monsters or whatever, just it's so unbelievable, it's not even you know funny. Uh, but it's really cheesy bad. I mean, if you really want to watch this, I mean, you can stomach some pretty bad acting or whatever. Go ahead, watch it. Overall, uh, Munchies wasn't like super terrible, but it was pretty cheesy. Uh, Attack of the Beast Creatures, it was watchable. It was kind of creepy. Uh, but don't expect any real special effects or anything. And then Hobgoblins, I wouldn't recommend this to anybody. It's so bad. Uh, but that's your, that's your movies for this week. Uh, if you have any comments or, or if you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. Uh, and I'll try to get around to uh, giving the movie a review as soon as I can. Uh, anyways, I told you you'd be told the truth and you've just been told.